Welcome to another Barker commentary video. In this video, I'll be talking about companies hopping on stupid trend, hoping for increase their profit margin, as well as it seems that a lot of companies, ever since this you know world situation happened, their pre-order nonsense has completely gone into chaos. So let's first talk about companies that have hopped on to this stupid trend for hope to increase their profit margin. It seems that a lot of companies have hopped on to the NFT hype train. So let's give a short explanation of what is NFT. NFT is a virtual copy of an item that exists in real life. But however, if you buy an NFT, you don't actually own the real life copy of it. You just own a virtual copy of the item. And that virtual item is stored in a Ethereum based database and anything, any movement and any data taking any like validation of like proving that, yeah, you know, any data movement will require, well, Ethereum validation and that, yeah. So, what is those you know companies hopping onto this nft train what are they thinking they are hoping to where they make a virtual item such as you know your car you know your pokemon card and they just make an nft version of that or in some games they literally build their whole game around nft you buy nft i think like i've seen a few um advertised game where it's like you buy an nft of a car and you use that for the game and so basically a lot of game companies are hoping to you know do this make in-game assets and turn them into nfts and then sell the nft to people and uh, well the company hopes to get some of the and the ethereum um in back into real real money like us dollars however um yeah for me personal opinion time i think nft is kind of stupid it's weird in a way where it's like it's like you bought a product but the product doesn't exist but as well as when you tell other people like hey i own this item not the real version but i own the nft version they will and when people look at like you know um like the owner owner when you own a product you get like a title deal or something or like a receipt these NFTs, I don't really see a good solid, good like normies gonna be like, oh hey, they see this whatever valid chain shit, they'll be like, oh hey, yeah, you own that virtual whatever thing it is. I think NFT itself, meh, it's a shit thing. And that. Uh, however, as well, we. We also have certain game platforms such as like Steam where they have recently put in a rule where they, if your game that is on sale at Steam uses NFT, you will be taken off Steam and for the customers that have bought the game, they will still be able to access it, but however, you'll be not be able to distribute any more new copies of the game because you put in NFT in it. I hope this Steam policy stops, um, stops you know, games from de being developed out of box with NFTs in mind, and hopefully this stops some game developers putting NFTs in their games as well. Steam is kind of the biggest Steam plat gaming platform out there. There's There are alternatives, but the thing is, it's not as popular slash established. Now, let's move on to the pre-order nonsense of, you know, 
of companies launching pre-orders and slash anticipated product limited run edition. It seems that ever since the world sit situation gone terrible, it seems that yeah, it seems that some for some limited run products, certain regions will never really get the proper opportunity to buy them as sometime the op the pro limited run product will be only on star and will like be like on sale like midnight or like five six four a.m. there you know of the buyers time no one is really awake four five six you know between midnight and six a.m. no one really is like intentionally waking up and just to buy a limited run product as a result you have um products that are like certain regions people who unless they really do these obscure hours just to get the pro i don't think for certain region you are disadvantaged for buying certain limited run product cuff cuff razor face mask for me I was never, even though I was willing to buy one, yeah, they were, Razor just kept launching, dropping those things like fucking like 1 or 2, 5 a.m. I'm not waking up just to get a fucking overpriced face mask. As well as, mm, yeah, and this, what does this now start it? This then starts people by making, have services to make bots to buy stuff on behalf of real customers. But this also then causes the problem of scalpers using these bots to buy bulk amount of these products that they know it's limited edition and limited run and people will be asking for them. Neat wants them and they end up buying bulk of them and then for their real customers they don't end up getting the the product and they end and those scalpers end up be like hey I have these really items that a lot of people want I'm just gonna resell them at an absorbent price price margin that the manufacturers or sometimes not even them the sales platform C. However, yeah, I think uh, companies these days really, from the world situation, has really seen like, hey, we need to make this anti-bot if we were to actually, you know, to get these products into real customer hands. But However, some companies they don't really care. They don't care that the company that they sold uh, their stuff to a scalper. To some companies, like yeah, it's out of our warehouse now. We made our money. We don't care about the product anymore. And lastly, what well, this is the this is the thing that made me want to make this video. For those don't know, Azure Lane launched their third anniversary box as of writing of this script. I'm yet to get, I bought a third anniversary box and I'm even yet to get a pr my like a shipping confirmation and basically I bought it on to the second round and on their website they said that the second round would be like would wouldn't be delayed like from the September 16 however as of writing this it's already writing and editing of this script is already the 17th of November so it the two month gap is kind of already gone and ever since then I've been um well trying emailing me um, Yo Star and their merch team and so far yeah none of them seem to be giving me any you know customer 
Yeah. And yeah, it seems that your start your customer service for your merch team is shit. And that yay, you poorly managed your merch team and that it is and you guys really need to talk to your customers be like, "Hey, if this pre-order is late, you need to tell your customers, "Hey, your order is late." As for right now, what my situation is, I have gone emailed them about, hey, what's going on with this thing? And I already told them, be like, hey, you, if you don't talk, give me anything, I already told the, I'm in contact with getting my full refund, whether you like it or not. And yeah, you, if you want, uh, oh yeah, feel free to send it. I won't be paying you until the product arrives at my door. So I hope and I'll give you, I'll pay for the product obviously. But however, as I said, Yostar, I will not be paying for it until on. I either get the shipping confirmation or two, it literally arrives on my door, hand delivered. So I hope you enjoyed the video. This video took me about four days to write the script. So hopefully um, you like this video. Um, and I really wanted to make this video so that it sounds professional and not just some outright rage ball just raging in in you guys at making a rage video and just frustration and yeah i hope you liked it and if you it would really help if you liked the video and subscribed and i'll to see and i'll see you in the next video